Okay, I was mistaken. We'll do one more. This will be the last one. Let's name some of the muscles. I know there's a lot of them, but let's talk about some of them. You can name the muscles uh, according to what they do, like a flexor or an extensor. You can name a muscle according to its shape, like it has two heads or four heads. Um, and you can name a muscle for where it's located, like in the brachium or in the, um, the femoral area, right? So there's lots of different ways, the regions. Lots of different ways to name muscles. Here are some of the big ones you should probably know. Uh, let's start with the appendicular skeleton. So in my hand, from this position, the anatomic, the muscles on the front of my forearm, and if you feel your own forearm, and look, when you close your fist, you can feel them move. Those are your forearm flexors because they flex or pull everything together. On the other side, the back side of your forearm, if you feel that and open your hand and fingers up and extend them, those are your forearm extensors. Then you have the biceps on the front of your arm that flexes your elbow and your shoulder. And on the back of your arm, you have the triceps that extends your elbow and extends your shoulder. The outside of your shoulder is a, uh, um, a triangle shaped muscle called the deltoid. That's what makes your shoulder, your shoulder meet. If you feel there when you raise your arm out to the side, you can feel that muscle contract. There's muscles at the top of your shoulder complex from your collarbone up to your neck that make this little slope. This is called a trapezius muscle. That's because when you look at that muscle on the back of the body, here's your skull and your neck, it's shaped like a trapezoid. Actually, it's two muscles. They're triangle shaped, but together they look like a trapezoid, that four-sided uh, structure. That's why it's called the, the trapezoids, or sometimes people call them their traps. They just sort of shorten that. So upper, uh, upper limb, moving into your shoulder with your traps. Now I move on the front. This muscle on the front, if you put your hand right here on your chest, sometimes called a chest muscle, and you move your arm in and forward, you feel that muscle move. That's called a pectoralis major. Uh, it's also called a brisket, but we're not gonna get into that. Pectoralis major. On the, back of your, uh, on the back of your body, between your shoulder blades, and you can find a volunteer to do this, when they pull their shoulder blades together, there's two little muscles called rhomboids that help you pinch your shoulder blades together. Now, under your deltoid, inside your shoulder, there's a bunch of little muscles that help your arm rotate. And they form like a cuff, like the cuff on my t-shirt. They form a cuff around that bone, so they're tall, called the rotator cuff muscles. Infraspinatus, supraspinatus, the teres minor, and the subscapularis. You don't have to know that, but those are what your rotator cuff are to help me rotate my arm to throw a spear or to deliver a punch or to catch something. Moving down uh, on your back still, there's a great big wide muscle that goes up to my arm and helps me pull my arms down like when I do a pull up or my arms back. It's very wide, it's called the latissimus dorsi, or wide muscle of your back. That's another one people shorten, sometimes call the lats, right? Latissimus dorsi. Now, running down my spine on both sides, and you can get a volunteer, or feel your own back, and lean like this, and feel those muscles bunch up and down that run up and uh, alongside your spine. Those are called your erector spinae, because they keep you up straight. When I get down around my, uh, my torso to my pelvis, there's more muscle around the front. These are all my abdominal muscles. There are four layers of abdominal muscles. Right? If there's interest uh, in the comments, I can go through the chart or some of my drawings and show you the more intricate muscles, or you can check out the uh, more advanced anatomy channel playlist I have when I go through those. Those are your abdominal muscles. These are the ones that help you move around and help you go <coughs> and cough and when you poke and you tense those up like someone tickles or punches, those uh, get hard. They're kind of like a soft armor and hold my guts in. The lower limb, I've got the big muscles in the back that help my butt muscles that help my hips extend and move. They're not actually called butt muscles. They're called gluteals. So those are my gluteal muscles. And there's a ton of them. There's my gluteus maximus, the big butt muscle. 
well gluteal means hip and then we have little ones inside that turn my just like my rotator cuff that rotate my thigh in and out there's a bunch of those on my thigh I've got a big muscle on the front that helps me straighten my knee out that's called the quadriceps and on the back I have a big group of muscles that helps me bend my knee or flex it those are called my hamstrings on the inside of my legs I have muscles that pull my legs together those are called my adductors so they add my legs together adductors on the outside there's not really a lot of muscle just the front that wraps around when you get down past your knee you got a lot of muscle in the back of your leg this is called your calf your calves like a baby cow and then um, on the front there's not on the front of my shin there's not a lot of muscle in there there's a little one that lifts my foot up when I'm walking that's just called the anterior tibialis right? the uh, calf muscles are actually made up of three layers and the proper word is gastrocnemius and below that is the soleus muscle and below that are three other muscles and then on the front of your shin there are three muscles and on the outside there's couple little muscles called peroneal muscles and then your hands and feet each have little muscles in them they're, they're too numerous to mention in this video but those are most of your big muscles and enough that you can memorize and be able to describe like oh my 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 trapezius hurts on the right or my latissimus on the left is kind of aching or my erector spinae in my back are sort of stiff or I have I have a bruise on my pec pectoralis major my pec my biceps is getting stronger as I lift up these weights. My quadriceps are stronger from jumping. My hamstrings, I got a, a sore hamstring from running and stretching. Or maybe you get a, a charley horse a cramp in your calf, your gastrocnemius. So those are some of the basic muscles you can learn. Uh, we can go into the hand and foot if there's comments and interest. I'll go through those uh, in deeper detail or you can look on my other anatomy channel. Uh, or Google um, those animated channels that have a far bigger production value than I do and then think about all the little muscles in your face that make all these open my eyes and blow my cheeks out and help me chew there's all kinds of muscles there or the muscles that help me that help me swallow those are called deglutition muscles right so I have um, 634 muscles even more some people those are some of the big ones uh, and now the movement anatomy uh, set is done and I'll get working on the brain and the endocrine system for uh, next month.